The Connecticut Office of Tourism is working its new brand, and it's called Connecticut Still Revolutionary. It's a new campaign to boost tourism in the nutmeg state, and by celebrating Connecticut's revolutionary past, we're all reminded of the revolutionary things that are still happening. Here to tell us all about it is Kip Bergstrom. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Well, okay, let's talk about this. This is a really exciting new project. I love that you're branding Connecticut. It's my home state, and I really like that Connecticut is kind of just getting a little bit of a push there. Yes. So tell us what, what the plan is. Well, we're uh, honoring our past uh, as one of the 13 original colonies, but also recognizing the fact that we never stopped making history. We've been really at the center of virtually every revolution, cultural, political, social, economic, that's happened in this country, and we're still making history today. Okay, and so that's, a lot of people do appreciate history. I'm, I'm one of those people. However, let's talk about how we could use history and apply it to current day branding and the idea of bringing people into the state. How, how are you using this? Well, uh, we talked to 1,500 folks uh, in the development of the brand, and what they told us is that Connecticut is a place that inspires them that they find inspiration in our buildings and our landscapes and the things that they do here. And it's, a, it's an intimate experience and one that you have to discover. That's actually part of the fun of it. It's hidden in a lot sure. of ways. So we're using the brand to reveal Connecticut, to promote Connecticut. Uh, we were out with a new commercial that you're going to see shortly. Sure. Uh, and we think that uh, from the research we've done, it's largely a blank slate, both for our residents and outsiders. Right. And we need to change that by aggressively promoting the state. And speaking of aggressively promoting, I do believe our producer's telling us we have a clip up that we are going to go ahead and roll. So let's take a look. <laughs> inspirational video. I love it. So what was the idea, the concept behind this video? Uh, several things. One, uh, this is a spring summer campaign, so we need to show folks having fun in Connecticut in the summer. Of course. And, uh, uh, you know, believe it or not, a lot of folks don't even know that Connecticut has a coastline. Really? <laughs> and okay. so that's one of the things we did. We were showing, in this particular spot, we were showing the coastline. Uh, we also uh, have stories in these commercials. Uh, the more you see them, the more you see the story. But the people aren't props. The mm -hmm. people are actually in the foreground. They're, there's a story to what they're doing. And the scenes are all uniquely, distinctively Connecticut scenes. There's nothing in this that was shot anywhere else but right here. I, I mean, there's really no need to. And I love no. the fact that you really are bringing up the shoreline, a, a huge attraction to people uh, all times of the year, really. It's, just, it's one of those things that people just enjoy, the water, uh, the Atlantic, of course, uh, different uh, kind of climate. And uh, now our producer's asking us to just let's discuss the music, too, that you chose for this piece. It was composed uh, for us. It's an original piece. It was performed by the Hartford Symphony Orchestra. Mm -hmm and by a student at uh, UConn. Okay, oh, it's great, so everything right. is just uh, homegrown. Everything is homegrown. I love it, I love that concept, and I really appreciate that, Kip. And so, a uh, couple of, let's, uh, you know, yesterday I was talking to somebody, and I always like three tips, so really quickly, the three, I know you can't pick three, but three places in particular that are must-sees for Connecticut. Oh, wow. You've never been here before, gonna, you're going through, just pick three. Talk that's going to get me in trouble, but uh, the, we'll, we'll scene, in trouble. the scenes that we uh, focused on in these commercials are sort of iconic. One, one is uh, the Mystic Aquarium, okay. one of the best in the country, uh, and we have a shot of, the, of a beluga whale kissing the girl in one of the print ads, uh -huh. and, and it's, um, 
So that's one. And the Mystic Seaport. Right, of course. Uh, go, America's go Museum the of the Sea. I love it. Okay, I've got to cut you off, but I'm going to go with the third because we talked about this earlier. Mark Twain House. All right. I loved it. And thank you so much for joining us, Kip. I really had a good time. Connecticut rocks. My home state. you got to come and visit. Be sure to log on to WTNH.com and click on Good Morning Connecticut. Find out more information on what to enjoy in Connecticut. I mean, I'm kind of just And come to myself. our open house next Saturday. That's All right, the next attractions Saturday. are free or discounted. That's right. Thank you so much.